Hello everyone, welcome back to my let's play of Opus Magnum. This is episode 4, I do believe. And we're picking things up in chapter 2, where we left off. House Colvin made some advances and aggressive moves, and House Fantassin is starting to respond, finally. So, looks like we're making some more wartime creations. Let's get down to it. Mist of Incapacitation. Wait, the airship dock is lost now too? I thought we were pushing them back. It seems they're moving quite fast. Faster than we anticipated. This is absurd. Don't we outnumber them? We do, but if this keeps happening, won't we lose the war? Come now, it's hardly a war. Then what is it? I've explained it. It's best understood as, say, a kind of diplomacy. This is absurd. I'll do it then. I'll ensure that House Colvin regrets every building they take. Wow. Anatius is getting a little bit... He's, he's, he's taking this, like, pretty poorly. But strangely enough, I think he's got the right idea. <laughs> Let's see how this is. Alright, so we have two products. This is interesting. We have Mist of Incapacitation Part A and Part B. One of them is just a... Uh, is that air? I believe that's air. Yeah. Air Elemental bonded with Quicksilver. And then the other one is the same thing, except instead of bonded with Quicksilver, it's bonded with, I believe, Tin? Yeah, that's one level up from lead. So we're gonna use this Quicksilver and this lead. And we are gonna use this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort of promote and create this half. And then we're just gonna take an excess Quicksilver and create that half. And we've gotta do it at the same rate because we need six of each. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. Catch you on the other side. Okay, I think I've got a solution here. Let's watch this one run. Alright, plenty of room for improvements, but I like it. Works well enough. These files contain a vapor that makes areas inaccessible for a time. A mist of poison? It won't be fatal. Not very honorable. I doubt Armand would be pleased. Do you have better ideas? We've been struggling to catch up this whole time. Nonsense. We're making a good show of our defense while we wait for House Colvin to respond to our message. A truce will be negotiated soon enough. Won't the terms be more favorable if we push back harder? The terms will be favorable either way. Armand is a master negotiator. It's how he built this house into what it is today. Diplomacy, I don't think, is going to be the answer in this case. But let's move along anyways. Explosive file. I've got an idea for a new weapon. Something simple that even the house staff could use. The staff? Those who haven't been bestowed a sword certainly wouldn't, shouldn't be given any other weapons. But what if Half Colvin doesn't stand down? What if our soldiers can't hold the line against them? You're being foolish. A message will arrive any moment now. You keep saying that, and yet... Besides, if there is fighting indoors, the damage to the property would be extremely unfortunate. If Colvin breached the, breach the perimeter, won't the consequences be much worse? Things are getting serious. Whoa. Glyph of Triplex bonding. 
Ooh. The glyph of triplex bonding creates three separate types of bonds between fire atoms that, when overlaid, forms a triplex bond. Ooh. So, you have, uh, what I see to be like a sort of... Yeah, it's like three different colors, and you just have to bond these together in such a way that it forms like a interesting sort of triple bond between the three. And it's only fire atoms that it accepts. This is quite interesting. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, you're just gonna have to like rotate things around and have it bond all three types. And we have a product that requires that triplex bond. Triplex bond. Wow, that sounds so cool. And we've got two reagents. And it's looking a lot like we're going to have them bond each other and then send another one uh, out to be calcified, turned into salt with the glyph of calcification. And then we're going to make the little triplex bond right there, bond the two together, and then move along. Yeah. All right. I'll get working on this one. Catch you on the later. What did I just say? Hold on. Let's just pause for a second. Catch you on the later. I I I was going to just move past that and edit it out, but I'm going to leave that in. My god, get your act together. All right. Catch you later. Okay, I think I have a solution here. It's definitely op not optimized. Oh, let me fix that. It's definitely not optimized because this arm's doing... It's, it's... I can already see ways to make this incredibly faster. But, for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna stick with this design. It's a little bit slower, but it shows everything a little bit more clearer. So the idea is just to take these two, bring them up, and then just kinda do the little rotate dance around these three bonds. Uh, which makes a really nice sound. Should wait to listen to that. And then, um, meanwhile, we'll take this arm over, turn it into salt, turn that fire into salt, and then push it up once it bonds together. Uh, so let's let's give it a watch. Oh, such a satisfying noise. There, a file of fire, able to be thrown by anyone, even those with no training. I can't imagine the captain enjoying the thought. Oh no, he absolutely hates the idea. Then why pursue it? Shouldn't we take every measure possible to ensure our victory? Are you sure this improves our chances? I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like I have to try everything. You're very enthusiastic, at least. The Colvin message. Oh boy. Terrence Colvin, master of House Colvin, would like you to know that he will be pursuing this campaign until your unconditional surrender is received. For years, House Colvin has watched House Van Tassen reap the benefits of its standing without justly earning it, and Master Colvin, in his wisdom, has decided this arrogance has gone on long enough. Light your beacon green to signal your surrender. Then we will negotiate. Varen Ravari. Head Alchemist? House Colvin. Head Alchemist of House Colvin, boy. Ooh. Armor Filament and Courage Potion. Captain, what are you doing in that ancient armor? Isn't obvious? I must lay down my life in battle. I have to take responsibility for this situation somehow. 
that's such an old set. We should get you something more up-to-date from the armory. No, no. If I must be seen on the streets, I want to look like the heroes of old. The first rocket would be your end. If you must insist on this set, let me at least reinforce it with some armor filament. Oh boy, Captain Gelt. End to his death, it seems. Repeating products. Some products repeat infinitely and must be constructed as a single chain. Alright, so we've got a repeating product here. And this repeating product is armor filament. As you can see, it just continues infinitely. And I guess the idea is... Well, it's not going to list like how many products we have to make, but it's probably just like we have to have it extend this far at least. And so we just have to continually keep adding on... I believe that's iron, correct? Yes. Using the lead and mercury as a sort of... Uh, way to just push it through all right you know you know what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna try to make this original creation as fast as I can um, no 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 because there's always little bits of optimization that I could do instead I'm just going to focus on making it fast enough it might still be the fastest if like I just stumble upon that but in this case I think I want to uh, at least attempt to do something a little bit faster than normal. So yeah, let's get started. solution ready let's take a look this should help it make it so to have it maintain a long line out in that direction there's probably more efficient ways to do this without relying on so many arms but it should be quite fast so let's take a look oh dear okay <laughs> first problem we're gonna need to fix that they both run into each other didn't think about that one that should be a solution Okay, second problem. I need to bond it twice, so. I have, this is my problem for not paying attention. I need to create iron. I created tin because I only bonded it once, or I only uh, promoted it once. So, that gives me a little bit more leeway, and yeah, I'll take, I'll take advantage of that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, let's give this a watch. This might work. I haven't exactly double-checked it, but we'll see. It's looking good. Alright. So let's see how long it needs to create. Does it just till it hits that point? Yeah, alright. Definitely could be faster. It's pretty small in terms of area, although I think I can get that down. Um, yeah, not bad. There may yet be hope. Perhaps I will single-handedly turn the tide of the battle. I suppose anything is possible. What circumstances? A total offensive like this hasn't happened in generations. Centuries. And yet here we are. I swore to defend House Van Tassen for life. I thought that would be a very long time. No matter what happens, you will be remembered, Captain. Courage Potion. Perhaps the Colvin message was mistaken. I wouldn't assume it was. It could still be retracted, an error by a scribe or page. A wrong letter sent. I'm sorry to say, I think that rather unlikely. 
Stay here a little while longer, Captain. I'll make you a potion of courage. Something to inflame your blood with the fighting spirit. Thank you, Anasius. That's kind of you. Oh, poor Captain Gelt. Alright, this is a product distilled alcohol. <laughs> that is definitely a way to be courageous. And we've got two elementals in. Both of these being used for, um, wow, that's backwards. Both of these being used to create this part, and then I assume both being calcified and turned into salt for this other part. And it looks like a glyph of multi-bonding would be super helpful here. So, yeah. Guess in a time like the present, let's get started. Okay, I think the solution will work. Let's give it a look. Brilliant, I like it. It's gotta be pretty fast too. Alright, can probably increase the speed by uh, not bothering to calcify him first. And you can definitely improve it in cost and area, but I like it. I like it. Do you think the courage potion will work? It seems difficult to contradict the habits of a lifetime. It will, after a fashion. The potion I gave him is mostly alcohol. Glad to see you haven't lost your willingness to toy with the poor ha poor captain, even in these dire straits. It's not toying, not this time. If honor demands that he lay down his life, I want him to feel comfortable at least, and most like himself. That's touching in an odd sort of way. Hastily written note. My lord, the enemy is upon us. I must now enter the fray myself. It has been an honor, the highest honor, to serve you for almost fifty years. If I had a hundred lives, I would give them all, but I am sorry I have just one. Captain Arist Gilt. Surrender Flare. That's the end of it. Gilt made his sacrifice. The soldiers are fleeing. And I have a word from Armand himself that we're to change the signal light of the tower to pale green. Armand is better at treaties than he is at battles. There's hope yet after the surrender. I hate this. I did everything I could. If it hadn't been for Captain Gelt's tepid strategies, and Armand's stubborn insistence on keeping honor, and Frederick's inability to do anything. But the future remains to be seen. We were defeated so easily. I can't believe this. I got here just a few months ago, and the first major event is our surrender to another house. I've been here my whole life and have never witnessed something like this. Poor timing, I guess. Let's get to working on that surrender flare. The glyph of unbonding eliminates the bonds between two atoms. All right. So, we haven't really had to deal with this yet because all of our reagents have had to be constructed to, you know, create something larger as a product. But in this case, we're going to have a thing where, <laughs> let's get looking at this, we're going to have to, in some way, remove a bond here so that we can slip one of these in, promote that, and then create the output. Right now we have iron, and we need to promote iron to copper. And I, I do believe that is actually a... <laughs> While this is alchemy, and alchemy is, um, you know, at its... At its, uh... <laughs> I can't, I don't know why I can't think of words here. Alchemy is not real, alright? This is obviously not real. 
water isn't made of a water elemental and two salt compounds. You know, it's like, this isn't real science or chemistry, obviously. It's, it's meant to be fantastic. But this, this is actually kind of clever, I think, um, because in the, central, in the center here, we have an orange flare salt, and our product is supposed to be a green flare salt, and um, the iron at the center is... Uh, iron iron is typically more reddish. Um, definitely can constitute like an orangish sort of color if you think about like canyons and gorges and stuff with that like beautiful red rock and stuff. That's iron and the oxidization that happens. Uh, and, and yeah, we're turning it into copper, which if you um, have ever like played around with sorts of like copper fires or stuff, uh, it burns green. And so even though this is like basically fake science in a way this is something realistic something quasi accurate so yeah it's quite interesting to see anyways we're obviously going to need to unbond something we're gonna need to promote this using the mercury and then we're gonna have to bond it back together so that we can uh, create this output so this might actually be a little difficult and take a bit of time to figure out but and, and oh my goodness, this will be so much fun to optimize. But for now, I'll catch you later. Oh boy, what a monstrosity. I think this will work though. I believe this will work, so let's just watch it run. Oh, so brilliant. Nice, 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 nice. You can get the cycles a little bit faster. Underneath 50, I can get into that tiny little bar right there. And I'm all, my mind is already racing about ways that I can do that. But obviously not the best in terms of cost or area. Still pretty good though, this is quite the tricky one. So, what's supposed to happen now? I'm not sure. We have negotiations? Useless. Negotiations aren't useless. No, I mean, I'm useless. What good is my skill if I couldn't change anything? Why did I go through the trouble? Now is not the time for a big philosophical soul-searching reverie. You're right, of course. Young Taros Colvin. Oh. Ha! Weaklings. You were right, Varen. Nothing to be afraid of after all. As I expected. House Van Tassen strayed from the path for too long, and we were the agents of correction. 
Now all that remains is to negotiate the terms. Not that they have much of a bargaining position. Negotiations are boring. They're still necessary. What if we just killed them all? That strikes me as a little extreme. I hate the idea of this ancient weak family hanging around even after we've won. They'll stick around, begging for our scraps, waxing on about the old days. It poses a risk, and you told me yourself, Varen, that the old ways were due for a change. I did, yes. You're not afraid, are you? Easy enough for you to propose the idea of attacking, but when it comes to time to follow all the way through. I am absolutely not afraid. If you believe eliminating the Van Tassen vine is the right choice, then I will follow. Varen, you consider yourself clever. But just because you're the House Alchemist doesn't mean you can place your ideas over mine. Oh, whoops, I skipped that. Of course, Taros. Follow me. Oh boy. The Downriver Quarters. Well, it seems like things have <laughs> gone quite south right now for House Phantasen. Um Were they actually all killed? We'll find out, I guess. And what is to become of their head alchemist and provisioner? Well, we will see. We will see. Alright. <laughs> quite something. Quite something indeed. Things are finally... Things are finally happening. Alright. That's quite the episode. I hope you're as involved in this now as I am. I can't wait to get to the next one. Next time when we come back, we'll get started with Chapter 3 and make our way through it and start figuring out what's going on and hopefully getting into some more complex solutions. But for now, I'll catch you next episode. Kyloto, 